well. So much for best friends through thick and thin or helping me get better while we're in Europe together. Seems Jeff hooked up with some girl from back home that I don't even know. Jeff took off last night after borrowing some cash, naturally. He just said, I'll catch up with it. Whenever. Great. I mean, he has his own life and I know that and that's great and all, but I need him now. He was always someone that I could lean on. Or so I thought. My mom Blanche always says I can create whatever I need to get through tough times. Whenever Jeff finds a new girl, he's gone. Falls in and out of love. Maybe it's the idea of love. I don't know if he's ever really been in love. For real. I mean, I've known him for so long. I know how he is. Why would it change? Why would he change? Now Blanche would be happy to know I'm in Paris. Probably a great place to be miserable. I think I'll just walk the streets all night and watch the city wake up. So well, how's your transition coming, Phil? It's a bit weird, Coroner Phil Robinson. It's tough to get used to. You have some pretty big shoes. Eh, not really. You'll probably go decades without anything unusual or spectacular happening. What about soul and bones? That was that one unusual thing at the end of those silent decades. Is that why you retired? You never did explain it to me. Mostly. Well, I hear everyone's favorite professor now. Yeah, I'm sure about that. But speaking of soul and bones, uh, there's something I need to show you. Uh, kind of a secret thing that the outgoing coroner needs to break the incoming coroner on. Sounds, Sounds interesting. interesting. You'd never even guess. Trust me. I've had it all laid out for you. So what have we here? Beside the body. The last body. The secret body. Secret mm -hmm. body? Yeah, we've had him on ice all this time. Can't release him yet. <sighs> He's very provocative evidence. Not even the press knows of his existence. Oh my god, is that Hector Soto? In the flesh, so to speak. He's been here all, all this time? Nobody ever reported him missing. Kind of sad when you think about it. Is that what I think it is? Bottle. He didn't burn to death at Solar Bones. He was shot. There was something far more sinister going on there than anybody realizes. How's this been kept? You've been sworn to secrecy, Phil. That's how. This is for our eyes only. It's part of the power of this office. And the curse. It's why I walked away. I see. Well, Mr. Coroner. You're the new Keeper of the Secrets. Holder of the Keys. And I walk away with no regrets. Visitor! 
Oh my. You again? You've gotta be kidding me. I know you can't get enough of me. Whether I want to or not. <laughs> what is it with you? What do you want from me? Cut to crap, Angelica. What's your end game? You think you're playing with that enemy? You're in the big leagues now, honey. You think you got what it takes? I'm not playing you. You're already dead. You just don't know it yet. You think you're that kid, do you? You want to underestimate me? Go ahead! I know all the secrets. All about you and Blanche and Europe. The real baby daddies. I know everything. I know where all the Sorrentos are buried. Now you listen here, young lady. I don't know what it is you think you know, but locked in this cell or not, family or not, you open your mouth and you won't be around to see the end of this. The peace. I'm so sure. It worked. A little provoking, and she spilled her guts. Molly Chapnell, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Well, that was weird. That thing at Big Z. Yeah, I didn't plan on that. Lizzie's just... See, we all know what Lizzie is. Well, hey, listen. What do you know about my cousin, Trina? Trina? Not a lot, I guess. Is there something I need to know? Well, her and Joey, they were... Well... Going out? Yeah, and now she's gone. Well, there's been some talk in my family. I think she's pregnant, too. With Joey Sorrento's baby. I don't believe that. He wouldn't do that. He loves me too much. Well, you might be right. I just thought you should know what I heard. Yeah, well... Yeah, of course it's taken care of. Really, Jeremiah? When have we ever let you down? Well, you're going to have to talk to your brother on that one. Because Jed, Di, and I have done exactly everything you've asked us to. Oh, yeah. We gave Guy Weldon a beatdown he won't ever forget. I don't know. He's gone. I mean, he's gone. Disappeared Casper. I just assume he received the message loud and clear. No, I don't. I don't think he's ever going to show his face in proper ever again. Anyway, I mean, it's going around that Jeremiah Hall's someone not to school with. Hi, hey, you're welcome, buddy. It was a pleasure, trust me. still in here. No, I wasn't the one who killed my son. I'm really gonna keep going through this. Your hubby came by to see me. Mm. He was so interested in what I know about you. Well, I hope for your sake. You remember nothing. What, are you, are you threatening me too? Were you gonna kill me just like him? God, how can I be so dangerous to both of you, locked away in here? Don't worry about that. I'll take care of Alessandro. You just stick with your mission and all the secrets that we hold about Alessandro and Blanche. Yeah, and their little romps around Europe and their connections to dark Messina family secrets. And the Costanzas. Don't forget the Costanzas. Costanzas. Be patient, Angelica. Don't let the Sorrentos intimidate you. We will have our vengeance and our victory. Whatever. You just keep in mind, 
I'm the one making the sacrifices here, okay? You remember that. Madonna, I love it. Would you be a stepmother? Whatever you are. Holly, you're Holly. In the flesh, or rather, in this cell. That was a very loving conversation, and so interesting. Full of Sorrento family secrets, valuable ones. I'm intrigued. Holly Olden, you forget everything that you thought that you heard today. These dropping can be very dangerous. Well, yeah? What's it worth to you? Look, little girl. You develop an immediate case of amnesia. Or mark my words, when you leave this place, you can very well drop off on the face of the earth. Do you understand what I mean? Oh, Miles Alessandro, it is such a godsend to see you. Well, we had a few minutes while they're unloading the supplies, and you let us know if uh, there's not enough for the next week, okay? You two are so generous. But we can always use more. There's never enough. Ellen! No, 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 Inez. That's, that's fine. I appreciate her candor. That's why I hired her at Sorrento Enterprises. And if he hadn't done that, I would have picked her up for Brightman Barnes International. For you two, I could just give you a hug. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, I, oh, oh, so, oh, I've got to go take care of uh, anything. And I'll just, I guess, stay, uh, <sighs> yeah, here. Miles, what inspired you in... Alexandro to support this shelter. I mean, without the two of you, there would be no shelter, and I mean that. So true. Um, well, uh, I guess Alessandro just kind of dragged me into it. I think Mr. Sorrento founded the shelter, right? It's always true, he did. I remember it well. It was so sweet. But what about you? I guess I do it because I can. Uh, I mean, I have the means to help others, so I do it. I, I mean, if, if you can, you should, right? I, I know it's not very profound, but that's how I look at it. Oh, that's wonderful. Not very profound. <laughs> it is beautiful. I think I'm going to cry, but in a moment I shall cry. That's really cool, Mr. Barnes. I hope sometime I can be like that. I like to help people, and I just don't think there's a lot that I can do. <laughs> not a lot that matters, anyways. Not like you and Mr. Sorrento. You can do a lot more than you think you can, Ellen. I mean, look around here. Well, I think we're unloaded. Got it all taken care of, huh? Pretty bad. Good. Oh, you gentlemen have a wonderful night. Go home to your families. Hug your wives. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be sure to do that, Mama. Hey, Mama. How'd it go? Uh, the target's nibbling the bait. Good. Very good. <laughs>